CCTV. On the right here, you're seeing uh, on the right corner of that dark area, that's a planet. And uh, you'll see, what will happen is you'll see a number of different dark circular areas overlaying each other. It's very difficult to see, but you can separate the light blue and the lower clouds from the slow moving space clouds. Anyway, so our time lapse is pretty heavy. Uh, we get to a point where there's three, four, five planets around the sun. Plus, you got the dark blue ones in the corner here, the dark, the huge ones. And you're going to probably spot a few asteroids, a couple rocks. Um, nothing flaming, just everything ripping through the sky. And uh, so just enjoy the music and the ride. Please share because it helps me stay alive. Um, if you want to donate or bless this channel with some finances to help a kick stay up um, for the bandwidth and the internet we pay for that um, we don't get a lot of donations but we take what we get and put it to use and we appreciate it so you guys have a great Sunday and I hope you enjoy this one because there's planets on it lots of planets
Now you notice there right below the left hand corner right below the Sun coming out you'll see that you know you might say well that's a Sun dog no I thought the same thing but as you watch it you'll see also this blue like Kachina thing right to the right of that purple little planet now see the clouds covering the planets that shows you it's not a lens flare on the lens okay and it shows you it's not a, a sun dog um, the really fast clouds are on our surface and the really slow upper clouds are actually moving to the right now notice how dark it got in the right hand corner amazing and some of those clouds you might say they're ships and uh, I might say I agree but uh, it's just a pretty phenomenal sky and nobody wants to see the big black planet on the right but they're, they're okay with seeing the little round uh, moon looking planet but now uh, there's gonna be about five of them so get ready hang in there to the end and don't quit alright because at the end I'm gonna show you a blood red moon rise at 11 o'clock at night three days ago so still same sky same area for the east so keep watching Enjoy the music. I see you start to notice that uh, really dark, dark right corner get darker. And actually another couple planets start layering behind it, it looks like. To the left of it, and then right in front of it, and around it. But on the left, you'll, you'll notice the sun as it's covering that first little moon of planet. The blue thing stays pretty much in the same position, little blue dot. Um, I think throughout the whole video that little planet stays in the same position and two that are starting to uh, show themselves right now between that chemtrail ripping across the sky um, see they, they're all of a sudden realizing everybody could see it and um, I've actually been watching it at this location for two days I got footage of it and I'm gonna look at it but this is the most current footage yesterday um, but the dark planet is just mind-blowing Now start noticing how the chemtrail goes to a certain point and when it gets to the dark eclipse planet uh, silhouette there, the chemtrail gets a shadow. Well, Now that also leads you to any clouds floating through that black area. Notice how they're lit up around the sun, but when you go back a little bit, there's no clouds really blocking it from shading any, any of those clouds. So what's shading it? That planet, because if you understood how the sun just throws rays all across the whole earth not like a light bulb in one general area uh, it's still hitting the back side of that planet now some would say that's the fake sun I might say I agree on that but you really just don't know what the heck's going on anymore <laughs> it's crazy
Now I'm going to give you this question. Do you think the orbs around the sun could be the lens refractors or obfuscating as much of the planet as you could see? Now if you actually just turn the filters off of this thing, you could still see them. They're just a lot lighter. What I've done is just enhanced to the max so you can see what's really going on. You notice our clouds are moving pretty quick. And then you notice the big black one up there kind of moves. You know, it gets bigger, it gets longer, and then it gets rounder. And it, you know, I think they're dealing with a number of planets. Um, it's moving to the left right now. See, time lapse gives it away. Notice the clouds on the right bottom of it. They're really dark shaded. Now watch them as they come flying through the three planet sun there. Now see how the light shines on them finally? But over in the right hand corner, they're totally darkened by the dark side of Nibi. Giant old Nibiru. The big blue black planet of water. And the reason it's so dark, it, of course I got the enhancement on it, but um, it's a blue water planet and you're watching the dark side. So it's nighttime on outside of the planet. But you can still see a lot of the clouds earlier from that planet system. Now these are just our clouds, chemtrails, the whole thing. And you see that thing when it stretches. It, you know, when I do auroras, I get a lot of EMI effects from the auroras. That EMI effect, I believe, is directly from the planets and what's going on around the sun. So, enjoy guys this blood red moon I'm going to walk you right into, okay? And then the blood red moon comes up and it just travels. Watch.